Hi guys, this is Julia and welcome to this week's video. So first of all, uh, some of you may notice that I didn't post a video last week and that was because I was feeling terrible about my art and terrible, terrible stressed. So I decided not to post a video that week if that would help me to stop being stressed. And it did. Uh, the way that I got over my stressed Nez, I guess you can say, was actually to draw because the reason that I was stressed was because I didn't feel my art going anywhere and I didn't really like the way that uh, anything that I drew turned out and so I was working on this piece that you can see right now um, and I just decided one day that I when I got home I just decided that I'm gonna film myself uh, completing this piece and it's gonna be amazing and I'm gonna finish it tonight. So I sat for four hours because that's how long time it took and I just filmed and I drew and then I painted and then I was really happy about the results and I felt totally happy and motivated to draw again. So um, what you're seeing now is just me completing the line art of this building. You might uh, remember one of my first videos where I drew like a little street of um, a few buildings and then colored them in with watercolors and I've not really been feeling that happy about however I chose to color my buildings and uh, if you follow me on Instagram you will know that I posted this little sketch of a castle and then I said that I really need to figure out how to color my uh, buildings so that I can incorporate them with the rest of my style of drawing. So I sat down and I decided, well, I should draw a castle and then I will just experiment. So that is that is this very piece. I'm just drawing, finishing drawing up the line art and then I'll be experimenting a little bit with watercolors and this colored pencil. Um, as you can see, I'm turning the paper quite a lot and uh, going back and forth between having it upside down and not. And that is because, uh, for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is that it's a lot easier for me to draw straight lines if I draw them towards myself. Often times when I do straight lines, I uh, flip the paper so that I can draw the line towards myself. The other reason is that this colored pencil no matter how much I really like it, it smudges a little bit. That's why I'm having this uh, paper towel under my hand right now too, as you can see. Um, uh, it's not like ink because if you use ink, it will stay put when it's dried. But with colored pencil, it's just lead lying on top of the paper or it's not lead, it's pigment. But um, if you rub against it, it will stick on your hand or it will just move around on the paper. And that's why some of the lines, uh, it was really hard to get an even hardness and thickness of the lines because they just seemed to fade. And that's why I'm drawing this part of the house right now upside down because I wanted to touch, I wanted to touch the other line out as little as possible because I didn't want to redraw it all the time that took forever. Um, so I decided to try that, but then I realized it would be, I thought it was harder to draw upside down, so I went back and just tried to use the paper towel. I'm not sure that the paper towel really made a big difference, but, well, I felt like it might make a little bit of difference, and I was desperate. So, um, I'm just finishing up now with the line art, yeah, and I'm moving on to watercolors, and I decided to use this sort of light shade of um, brown I guess you can say I wanted it to look like it was white but it was like an old white building it didn't turn out to look like it was white but I'm pretty happy with it anyways it looks more like it's this like metal building I guess um, yeah so now I'm just laying out a flat wash of that very same color all over the building except in the windows I wanted to make sure that the windows were a different color um, so I go over later and paint in the windows because one of the reasons for painting a, like a building at all is because it looks a lot better when the windows pop a little um, so you get some type of contrast 
and uh, so I really wanted to make sure that I saved the windows for later. And I was actually thinking first of maybe leaving the windows white, um, but then I changed my mind and I mixed this sort of um, gray blue ish color. Yeah, orange and blue aren't really complementary colors, but they are. Uh, quite far opposite each other on the color wheel, so I wanted to uh, make sure that they uh, went well with each other, anyways, and that's why I made the blue in the color uh, in the uh, windows really desaturated. That way, they are more harmonious together. And now I just realized that, oh, I can add some shadows, and so I decided because some of the building parts are. Um, aren't just flat they have like other sides so I decided to add a bit deep like a bit darker color just another layer basically of the original color on that uh, on those parts of the building and then when I was at it I was like well I should just add like shadows wherever the shadows would be and so I went over the whole building and everywhere where I had made a line on the paper I would think of how that would be a shape in the a 3d shape in reality and how the shadows would fall and at this point in the painting I was really happy with how it was turning out and I felt like this was a really good idea um, when I mixed the paint, I m decided to mix a really lot of paint so that it would be uh, sufficient for the whole painting. Because that's like a problem that I often get. I run out of the same mixing of paint because I, I almost always mix the colors to get the exact shade that I want. And so I, at this time I decided to mix a lot of paint so that I had everything that I would need for the whole painting. And I'm really glad I did in the end. I actually was sort of running out of paint when I did these shadows, but uh, they were sufficient. I didn't mix enough for the window though. Um, I was running out of them in the end, but I, uh, I think I made like exactly the amount of paint that I needed for the windows. Um, so now I'm just doing some fine tuning and you can really see the whole building, the whole piece coming together. And so I'm just putting in some more shadows here and there. <sighs> yeah, so I made the light come from the upper left corner and I didn't really think that through. Um, but I think sometimes just going with your gut is one of the best decisions. For example, doing these shadows at all was really just something coming from within not really thinking about it I just did it and so uh, and that's really put the whole piece together there were a lot of places to put shadows in the building so that took a long time as I said this whole piece took me four hours or something like that to make and I usually don't spend that much time on one piece but I felt that I needed to push through and just finish this piece up and I wanted it to look as good as possible and when I came halfway through I realized that this piece really had potential and so I wanted to make it justice and really do everything that I could to make it look good. So now I'm just going in and painting the whole, the, all of the other windows uh, because you saw me doing one of the windows in the beginning but then I left it there um, and did all the shadows first. And that's because I realized that if I would have put in all of the windows and then do the shadows, I might pick up some of the pigment from the uh, darker windows and accidentally smudge it around. So I decided to go with a safer idea and just go, like do the shadows first and then go in with the windows. So like I really feel that the piece is coming together, the building is looking pretty much like a building now and um, sometimes like on some places I did paint outside of the line in the windows because I was like I was rushing a bit it was getting pretty late but I wanted to get it done and then by now I thought well I'm pretty much done I was just gonna clear some lines up I uh, decided like because 
some places the lines look really crisp and some places they don't. But then I started and I uh, fixed one line and I don't know how this came to me that I decided to go over uh, and fill in the lines extra much wherever the shadows would be so that the shadows were even crisper or when I started I, I was like amazed with myself and how good it looked and uh, so I did that for the whole building and that was basically the last step for this whole piece to come together I added shadows inside of the windows too just you can see me do that uh, in a close-up coming up right now uh, I added you can see these just cast shadows there inside of the windows just to make them look a bit more three-dimensional and I think adding this uh, really harsh shadow harsh shadow <laughs> with uh, this color pencil made make the whole makes the whole building really pop and I'm really happy with how this turned out this really made me come out of my like bad place with my art and I'm feeling really motivated to draw again yeah so I uh, am just finishing it up now adding more and more shadows this took quite a while and I had to sharpen my pencil a lot so now I am just signing and the piece was done so here you can see some close-ups with my good camera and yeah i'm really really happy with how this turned out i hope you enjoyed seeing the process and hearing me talk about it leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you liked this video and i will see you next week